It's been almost a whole year since I last talked to you about Project Loki. And while it still doesn't have a name and most of the video footage is still NDA, you gotta admit that this, this is cool. I can't quite put my finger on what magic theorycraft games has sprinkled into this genre-bending hero shooter battle royale. Whether it's the fluid WASD movement, which the community has taken to calling shmovement, or the lovable roster of fun, exciting, and honestly original characters, theorycraft games is doing something right when it comes to the overall feel of Project Loki. So with that said, why are you not joining us with these short and sweet monthly playtests? In this video, I'm going to show you every frame of Project Loki's public non-NDA gameplay, as well as talk to you about the five best reasons you should be playing Project Loki every month. Oh, and did I mention it's free? Like, you get to play a free game that's actually really super cool. Like, come on, what are you missing out on? So if that's enough for you, scroll down to the description or pinned comment for my link to get priority access to future Project Loki playtests. I don't get any kickbacks for this link, just a quick shortcut to getting my awesome community into what is inarguably one of the largest future PvP games coming out in the near future. It also doesn't hurt to have more people to spike into the abyss. So let me know in the comments down below if you signed up so I can keep an eye out for your name in future playtests. One area that the team at Theorycraft has spent much time focusing on is the movement and feel of Project Loki, and one area that, in my opinion, has proven itself to rise above many similar games in the genre. Project Loki's movement is really something else. While the game may have started with a more traditional movement, similar to what you may see in more, more standard MOBA game, the team realized this was an area that was predictable and felt a little flat. So the team decided to lean into a more physics-based gameplay, adding jumping, displacement abilities, and even momentum. These momentum abilities like dashes, dodges, and blinks can really get your character zooming across the map, if need be, while also allowing for a ton of room for experimentation with many of the game's items and terrain. You can utilize jump pads, rockets, and your character's abilities, giving the team endless amounts of possibilities when it comes to fun and exciting movement found in Project Loki's combat sandbox. One thing that draws many people into the MOBA or hero shooter genre is the lovable cast of champions, heroes, agents, or whatever you want to call them. And Theorycraft has really outdone themselves so far with their, while still somewhat limited, character roster. We have the mutated grabby arm of Kingpin, whom reaches his arm out to grab and pull enemies into his squad to make quick work of them with his shotgun, similar to the way Roadhog chains his enemies in Overwatch. We have Firefox, the pyromaniac fox that literally sets the entire map on fire because you know every single hero game needs a mentally insane furry on their roster. We have Shrike, the baddie sniper who can open up the map to view enemy players more easily and what looks like a radar type ability. And this is only scratching the surface of characters currently in the Project Loki playtests. Each character will have skins, backstories, lore, and a complex yet easy to understand kit to help you explore and enjoy your time in the Skylands. And while I could probably go into greater detail about these characters, I'm not really looking to get sued by Theorycraft anytime soon, so you'll just have to trust me on that. I don't know if it's Theorycraft Games' open development policy, fireside chats with Jess, or just pure luck, but Project Loki has one of the best communities I have ever seen in my way too many years of online gaming. Right now, at the time of making this video, they have over 47,000 active users in the official Theorycraft Discord, many of which are already writing comprehensive hero guides, giving great feedback that the team actually listens to, and even making insane PvP montages that are honestly kind of depressing to watch. I'm so bad at this game compared to some of the like Overwatch and League of Legends pros that are in these playtests, but can you guys join, please? <laughs> I cannot explain to you enough. The Discord is so welcoming, whether it's the introduction channel or people just chatting and hanging out. I've seen entire friendship groups created over here and I honestly think you're missing out. So go join the Discord when you get a second. And this is probably as good of time as any to also plug my official Oh Hey Spun community Discord. If you don't know, I'm a huge MMO gamer and we love <clears throat> Theory crafting new titles, speculating, discussing, and going over future games, so you should come hang out with us sometime. We might not be as nice as the guys over on Theorycraft's Discord, but I don't know, we're pretty chill too. The team at Theorycraft Games. Oh, what could be said about them that has not already been said? Well, 
Actually, probably a lot. All it takes is watching one fireside chat with Jess to know that this team is incredibly passionate about creating a unique experience that will provide its player base with over a thousand hours of gameplay. And I'm not just saying this, I legitimately think this indie team is looking to shake up competitive PvP gaming and are doing things that I've not seen any team ever do. I mean, I do want to stay on their good side, so I'm not going to be leaking anything, but you know, I do have only good things to say about them. The team has had the privilege of playing key roles in some of the most successful games in the world. I'm talking League of Legends, Valorant, Overwatch, Legends of Runeterra, Apex Legends, Destiny, Halo. I mean, the list just goes on and on. And now they're hellbent on building a world-class game studio from complete scratch. And I don't think they're planning to stop with Project Loki, but that's a completely other topic that I'm sure would make another great video. So make sure you hit that subscribe button. And last, we have FOMO. Admit it. You have a large Project Loki sized hole in your chest and it's about time you get that looked at. Project Loki is going to be huge and I'm not saying anything specific, but it's likely to be coming out of NDA sooner rather than later. How cool would it be to be that hipster that played it before anyone else? Not to mention the fact that you might need the practice if you're ever going to get a leg up on your friend Dave. Yeah, Dave's going to be pretty good at this game, so you you need some practice. You should probably get in on the playtest because... Once Dave's in, you're out of the squad. Once again, I cannot state how excited I am to dive into future playtests and see what the team at Theorycraft was able to whip up in the coming months and years. So if you're interested in playtesting Loki, follow the link in the description of this video. It's the fastest and easiest way to secure a slot in future playtests, where you'll be sure to find me, but I promise I won't be going down easy. Project Loki feels like a fast and chaotic game with loads of depth and excitement packed into each and every match. Some kind of crazy blend of League, Apex, and Overwatch, and while it may still have some rough edges, it's still in beta or pre-pre-production, I, I, I don't even know what we're calling it anymore, but it's really shaping up to be an exciting and honestly very promising game. I plan to continue covering Project Loki as well as many other game titles in the future, so if you're not yet subscribed, make sure you hit that subscribe button. It's free and it gives me just the right amount of dopamine to wake up and make another video for you all. Also check out spun.gg. I plan to set up guides, walkthroughs, and post all of my news around gaming and video content over on the website and leave a comment down below so I know if you will be in the future Project Loki playtest. As always, thanks for coming and checking out another video. My name is Spun and I will see you all in the next one. Peace.